All right, we had a 6.2 earthquake in Peru, and this is 58.1 miles deep. Let's go look at this earthquake, see where it's located. All right, here is our earthquake, and it's a little ways on land, you know, South America. Down here's Chile, up here's Peru. Alright, let's look at the next image here, see if we can get a little closer. So that's a long ways on land. Once you zoom in, that's a few miles, it looks to me like. Alright, now the thing about this, we was looking for a 7, about a week, or, week ago, a little over a week, still hasn't hit. And then we got sixes behind that. Then we got to looking at everything, and we should have had sixes. And then took a break, like I was saying the other day, taking a break. And then more sixes behind that, and maybe sevens. Well, we had this to happen after we was looking for that seven in Iceland. And yesterday, when I was doing my report, I think people took me wrong. I wasn't talking about this whole area being gone. But you can see on the fire map, it did take out some of the areas where people swim up here in these hot pools and all that. And it wasn't near the city, and I didn't say it was taking over the city. I was saying it was showing on the Go 16 Live satellite. As you've seen, it was coming all the way out in the ocean over this city. So there's heat under here. I was hoping it wouldn't come up toward the surface. But as you've seen on the Ghost 16 Live Satellite, it doesn't lie. There was heat all the way out into the ocean. Well, we got some showing up in the ocean on the fire map. So these are really hot. So I was just saying that this here could be in danger later. I wasn't saying it's going to or anything like that. I believe some took me wrong on that. And some of this up here is took over. Like that restaurant I showed, I can't tell if it's exactly over the restaurant, but I'd say it's, you know, if it kept on, it was going to. And I was talking about it, it uh, spread it out into fissures, different fissures. The earthquakes calmed down, everything calmed down. But were the earthquakes calmed down and there wasn't any earthquake activity being reported, then I was talking about that sometimes there's a calm before the storm. So we always got to watch, just in case. If I seen that on the Go 16 Live satellite, light up out here, and I didn't show you, and then it destroyed the whole city, and one of my subscribers or viewers are in this city, and they could have known and got the warning before it happened, hey, I'm going to show it. So if it lights up all the way out down through here, I'm going to show it, and I'm going to talk about it because there's heat there, and it's not there for no reason. So let's hope this doesn't heat up at the end. But it did show heat under it, so that shows that this volcano is all the way up and under this city. Or it wasn't heated up like that. It went all the way out through here. This whole thing was lit up on the Go 16 Live satellite from back here all the way up was lit up. This whole area and out in the ocean. Okay, just want to make that clear. I got to show you the early warnings. You know, like heat out in the ocean. I have to show you, even if it isn't on the surface and deeper, I still have to show you just in case so you can be prepared. But anyway, those sevens, still looking for the seven. And when we was looking for that seven, Iceland had an eruption. And like I said, when we was looking for the seven, if we don't get the seven, then there's going to be some kind of eruption or something go on. Well, Iceland erupted. But I couldn't say that it was it for sure. So I couldn't say, well, that was our seven we was looking for because we got an eruption that released pressure. You can't say that when you're not for sure. And another seven could be behind it and people wouldn't be prepared. All right, we got this six, 6.2. More sixes should be behind this. 
I don't know where exactly because this one come down this fault. Usually they go around when we got this pressure because out here is the Pacific Plate. And when you got the Pacific Plate that's pushing on it, it don't usually hit over here. It usually hits over here because of the plate. This is pushing that way. Because this is pushing that way. And we're putting a bind on the Pacific Plate. And over here on this side, it's crunching it up. Well, before it gives over here, it could possibly give right here. Because this is where we see it blocking up every time, just like it's doing now. Right now, got some five, upper fives maybe coming, showing later on after those sixes that we're looking for. But we got more than this coming. Let's put in pressure on this big plate right here. Now when you push, when these continents push over the plate, specific plate, this pushes it down toward the mantle. Well, when it pushes it down toward the mantle, the mantle heats up and that hard part on the top of the mantle will turn to magma because it heats up and it's putting pressure, pushing down on the core of the earth. You know, and it causes a lot of damage. More magma, more eruptions, larger quakes. All right, I'll see you on the next updates. Everybody stay safe, and we'll be watching.